Look at our nice doorknobs. Um, <laughs> they're really nice. Here we go. Wow. So um, the new year isn't starting off as fresh as we <laughs> as we thought. We were all sick in December, and we're like, oh yeah, we're we're good. It's over with. Um, and somehow we're all sick again. <laughs> I lost my voice. I'm Josh, yeah, and it's weird. It's not like okay. the flu. Okay, here's the thing. This is day three, so it's almost, I'm like fine now, but my voice is gone, I think just from being hoarse for so long. I've never in my life lost my voice from getting sick. Until we had a child. Until we had a child. <laughs> I've lost my voice twice now because she coughs on me, and then I get whatever she has. At first we thought Poppy might have had pink eye, and then it wasn't, and then she started this cough, and then Josh got the cough and sore throat, then I got the cough, but I don't have a sore throat. It's all, it's all crazy. It's but, all fun and games. <laughs> but literally, if you look at outside, I don't know if you guys can see, it's literally snowing, but yesterday it was what, 50 some degrees? There it was, was almost 60. Thunderstorm last night. There was literally a legit, th like, summer thunderstorm, so I feel like that, is that is that a myth when they're like the weather changes causes sickness? I How it goes from hot to cold, hot to cold? I don't know. Also, Josh decided to go on. How long of a run did you go on the other day when it was like negative degrees outside? That has nothing to do with it. It was 18 degrees out, and I went for seven miles. Felt great. And I'm one of those old school people that are like. If you sweat and it's cold outside, you're gonna get sick, and you did. But we are currently on our way to go check out some tile for the house. Um, yes. We are so grateful that we're able to build a home, but I just didn't realize all the stuff that comes with building home. It's a lot. But yeah, so we have a crazy day. We're gonna go get some tile. We have another house meeting. We'll take you to the house. And then we have a full on update about my um, anemia and everything. It's, like I said, it's been a crazy week. I had to get, did I get blood work last week? Or was yes. that this week? No, it was this week. Was it? We don't even know what date is, but um, a lot of updates oh, and, and Mr. What? Nate, we have an update with him. Oh yeah, we so have to take him to the vet today. Uh, um, something's wrong with his leg. Hopefully we'll get an answer, but um, first things first, go look at some tile. We just got out of uh, the tile shop. The tile shop. And it was actually really good. I didn't yeah. expect it to, it was like over an hour we were in there. We picked out a ton. Uh, we got pricing and next steps is. Uh, and of course, the the one tile, like we were deciding between <laughs> like three and they were all great numbers. And the one obviously we wanted double the price. Yeah, uh, but, but that's okay. It's not, it's not completely out of the budget. I mean, it is, but um, it's not, crazy but we were like oh this is the one it doesn't have all all like the texture and the marble look to it. it's very flat and you know clean and we're like oh it's gonna be cheaper it was the most expensive one <laughs> but uh you know that's what we're finding out when you build a home you get everything what you pay for. everything is expensive yeah. we did a little detour we are at the new house look at our nice doorknobs um <laughs> they're really nice here we go Wow. It like looks like a real house. Now be careful, there's stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it seems so much bigger now for some reason. Why? I wonder why the ceiling seems bigger. Or maybe it's because it's all white. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so it's almost like an optical illusion. It does feel a lot bigger. Taller, taller. Tall. Yeah, it does. Huh. It's weird. But well, we're gonna have white walls, so it's gonna feel like this. Wow, this cool. is crazy, oh my god. Let's go upstairs. All right, so we're going upstairs here. As you can see, this is like an open stair. We're working on doing something similar. Uh, it's taken a bit of a process to figure out, but what do you think, Abby? I'm out of breath. <laughs> Gosh, come on. All right. Look how big this window is. Like, <laughs> this is crazy. Look at this window. Oh, that made me out of breath again. <laughs> and then we got a nice big window right here. It is for the blind. Wow, I'm really out of breath. 
This would be nice to film in front of this window. Try it. I'm just like really out of breath. No, like for real, I'm not even joking. All right, so now we're about to enter our bathroom. Come on in. <laughs> Where we have nothing. <laughs> yeah, our bathroom, here's our sink. Um, we decided we don't want to wash our hands anymore and you know, here's our, our tub. Our tub will be here, two showers. Yeah, so essentially, stand right there, Abby. Yeah. Abby's standing where the, the tub is. I'm the tub. And then there'll be a shower head there for me. Why and a you shower head. Side? You can have that side. I'm not. And then I a shower head there. Um, and then we'll have vanities here and then like a built in shelf. And then this is where you'll take and the then, Whoa, I don't know what's in here. And then this is where this will be a sanctuary here. <laughs> Toilet will be there. We're doing all wall hung toilets. We got a little window. And then Ooh. another window. A lot of windows. This will be nice. Oh, wait, I should put a vanity. A vanity that goes this <laughs> that tall. No, it'll be very nice. It's crazy. It looks like a house. No, honestly, this really scares me. I do not like this. Josh, stop. It's not even funny. Seriously, stop. It's not funny. Oh my god. I have to walk like this. Uh yeah, crazy. More more big windows. Just we're one big window house. Now will this open and then you can just sit on the, the little roof here? Oh fun, I love that for me. <laughs> I think the theme is windows here. Windows, um, but that's kind of all we can show you right now, but you guys can see the house is coming together. Like, it looks like a room. Looks like a room. Um, but yeah, next steps is flooring, cabinets. As you saw, we picked out our tiles, so things are moving. Um, yeah. It's crazy. Um, but we have a meeting now with our landscaper on the pool. I totally forgot. We told him, right? Yeah, we did. We did, we're doing a pool. It's nuts. We're doing a pool. Yeah, I never in a million years thought I would ever have a pool. I remember my neighbor had like the big ones from Walmart, the blow up ones, and we could never afford one. And I was like, I want one. Um, so it's kind of crazy that now we can have a pool. And it might just be a pool for a while and dirt because <laughs> landscaping is expensive. Yes, it is. Oh my God, look what I just found in my pocket. I'm really happy now. <laughs> Is that chocolate? <laughs> it is, I just found it in my pocket. All right, we've been home for how long? Like two hours now? And this girl has Daddy. yet Daddy, Daddy. Has, has yet to take a nap. So what are you doing? Mm. You coloring on the table? Bye bye. <laughs> Nate. We gotta take Nate to the doctor, okay? Say bye bye. Give me a kiss. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's getting heavy. Oh. Oh, all right, sit. We'll get you better, buddy. Can you sit? Oh, this poor leg. Oh, okay, we gotta go. Yeah. All right, buddy. All right, we're on our way to take Nate. Um, like I said, we had all intentions of filming at the house, but Poppy has been a complete terror for the past two hours, um, and it was really sad. So obviously no filming, um, but she seems to be better. She refused to take a nap. Um, she's finally playing, but she was really, really sad for some reason. So we are now in the car. We got Nate with us and fingers crossed, nothing is wrong with his leg. I would, I, but it's, it's scaring me because he's not putting any weight on it, like at all. All right, then we go. Go buddy. Oh, he's putting, oh my God, he's oh, a little bit. 68. Oh boy. Oh, go buddy. Hi buddy. That's his little leg. Oh. <sighs> How much do you weigh buddy? He's like, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> 68 pounds. All right, we're getting Nate in <laughs> the car. Is he going? <laughs> oh buddy. Good boy. Oh, hi Nate, good boy. Good boy. All right, guess how much that was? 400. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're oh, spot really? on. That was a little bit less, 350 something. Oh my, Nate. Um, so we have a game plan. Okay. Oh, I turned our flashers on. <laughs> Oops, we're still trying to figure out how to vlog in the car. It's so hard. Need, it's been how long? We need like a vlogging like gimbal. I know. But um, so solution is they think potentially like an ACL tear that he did like a while ago um, when he was a puppy that 
It's flaring up. I don't know. It's flaring up. He's got inflammation. Um, they didn't think x-rays were necessary right now. So we we have um, some medication to help with the inflammation to see how he does for a couple days. And they said, come next week if for some reason it still doesn't seem better. Or What is this car doing? <laughs> what is this car doing? But for some reason, if it doesn't seem better, then we will do the x-ray. We'll do the whole thing. And they gave him medicine to keep him calm. And we're like, he's already... <laughs> He's already pretty He's calm. Pretty calm. Uh, but where are we going now? I can't even say. My favorite place. I am craving McDonald's. So, <laughs> so is Baby J. So we're going to, and so is Poppy. She loves the French fries. So we're going to go through McDonald's and then um, I'll be, <laughs> it'd be funny talking about my health, pregnancy health while eating McDonald's, but it kind of makes sense, right? So it's like a mukbang for. A, mu a mukbang for pregnancy health. Um, yeah. Oh, look at the, the drive through lines. Love that for me. <laughs> Love that for me. And then can I get the six piece chicken uh, McNugget meal? The happy meal, please. Can I do a milk? And then can I get extra fries with that instead of the apple slices? And then can I just get a handful of the spicy hot mustard or the hot mustard uh, ranch and barbecue sauce, please? <laughs> Did you order the whole menu? <laughs> no, I kind of wanted to order more. <laughs> For anyone that doesn't watch our podcast, you know. <laughs> I wouldn't even wash my hands with that one. <laughs> Josh hates Dasani. <laughs> and the lady just handed him this and he immediately panicked. Sorry, Dasani. I'll drink it. All right. So I had planned to do this yesterday while I was eating my McDonald's, but we came home and Poppy was just not having it. She was very cranky, so um, obviously we didn't film, but um, I want to tell you guys and give you an update because I think the last vlog we did, we kind of talked about my anemia and what's going on. I know we talked about it in the podcast, so um, we finally got some results and answers. And I'm almost 32 weeks now, which is absolutely insane. This pregnancy is literally flying by. Like I... I still haven't processed it, like he's gonna be here in two months, basically. So quick little backstory, I went in to get my glucose testing and they did some blood work. Glucose, I barely passed, but I did, so that's all that matters. And um, my blood work came back where my anemia levels or whatever levels they check for anemia were really low. Um, I think hemoglobin, ferritin is the right name, I don't know, it just came back low. I know after I gave birth with Poppy, I had to do some type of transfusion because my iron was really low. So I kind of knew this, it wasn't like a big shock. So my doctor called me and said, great thing, you passed your glucose, bad thing is you have anemia and we're gonna send you to the specialist team and go from there. So I was like, okay, that makes sense why I'm just like really tired, my legs cramp. I had the craziest two Charlie horses at the same time in my leg one morning. I literally was screaming bloody murder. Josh was trying to help me, my feet and everything were just stuck, like literally stuck. I was trying to tell, jo like I couldn't move. That's a sign of anemia, um, tiredness, fatigue. And it makes sense why. I've always had this like, I like soap thing. And honestly, I've always loved the smell of soap. But when I tell you, I can't even wash my face without wanting to eat the soap, like my face wash and do like Dove soap right now. I literally could just smell it and I get hungry and want to eat it. It's super, super weird, but like it generally makes me hungry. I wish I could explain how it makes me feel. Like right now I want to go smell the Dove soap because it smells so good, but I got to stop. And that's like a sign of anemia and I just want to eat ice all day. So it makes sense. It makes sense that my levels are low. So after talking with the specialist, we were going to try for two weeks, upping my iron with a supplement and upping my vitamin C with a supplement, and then going to get blood work to see if my levels would rise. And the plan was hopefully they would rise, I wouldn't need to do anything else, and that was it. But this week, I got my blood work back and they actually dropped my levels. It didn't get any better, it didn't increase, they dropped a little bit. It wasn't severe, but they did drop. So now is the next step of what I have to do for this anemia and pregnancy. And like I said, it's obviously not the end of the world. It's not the worst thing to do. Um, it's just, I feel like this happened to me when I gave birth with Poppy. Like at the end, all this stuff with her being transverse and having to do a C-section and all this stress started happening. And I, I feel like, oh my God, is, is this happening again? But I think we're on top of it. We are good. But honestly, pregnancy, you don't realize like how 
you can't plan anything. Like, I mean, I plan to have an easy pregnancy and everything go as planned, but look at this now. Like, this wasn't in my pregnancy plan. So just to remind you, if you are pregnant or going to be pregnant, just do whatever you need to do. Listen to your body, listen to your doctors because things will change, especially last minute. And I learned that with Poppy and I'm learning that with this pregnancy. So the new treatment plan to treat my anemia, to make sure I am safe, to make sure baby J is safe, because with anemia you worry about, especially with the C-section, we know I'm having a C-section. And I honestly didn't know this, but I read that anemia and pregnancy can lead to postpartum depression. And that's obviously something I want to stay on top of and make sure my levels are good. Um, I just, I learned that by researching, which was really crazy. Um, so yes, next form of treatment is doing five IV iron transfusions, which sounds like a lot, but um, you know, I just have to do it. And you know, this is the part of pregnancy that I have no control of and we just got to do it. And I know I'm not the first one to get this. I actually have a couple girlfriends that are currently pregnant and have to do this as well. Um, so I know I'm not alone. It's not like the super uncommon thing. Um, and I'm really glad my doctor is being proactive in, you know, really making sure that my levels are good. Um, so the IV drips will hopefully, you know, up my levels and we'll get them rechecked after. But I have to do three next week and then two the following week. So just back to back to back. Um, they said the drip actually only takes about five minutes, like the actual IV itself, but I have to sit there for an hour, you know, make sure I have no reaction. I had one after I gave birth to Poppy because my levels were so low, but I was so out of it during that, so I don't really remember, but not that I want this to be happening. I wish I didn't have to do it, but like I said, it could be much worse. Um, I'm sure someone watching this has also done this, so um, let me know in the comments. Let me know um, if you have any recommendations or how to keep up with my levels even after pregnancy, because I just want to make sure I'm staying on top of everything. Yeah, that's kind of where we're at, and I'm like out of breath just sitting here. So yeah, all in all, baby J is healthy. I am healthy-ish, um, just craving soap and wanting to eat soap because of my anemia. But we will, like I said, next two weeks, we're gonna get it done, I'll get my levels checked, and obviously I have to get blood work before the C-section. And guys, little, little crazy special announcement, we officially scheduled the C-section. We have a date, and that date is March. I wanna be